everybody. This is Martin Ravinsky, and we are here to talk about how to elevate your executive brand through the power of co-authoring a book. I am fortunate enough to have a couple of great guests with me. Uh, we have a guest speaker, Felicia Pisonia. She is a CEO and partner at Ultimate Publishing Home, or House, sorry, Felicia, Ultimate Publishing House, and uh, guest speaker Graham McKenzie, who's an author of Healthy Logic. Um, I am Martin Ravinsky, and uh, I am not a guest speaker like that says. I'm actually the moderator. Mistake there. Um, I am a CEO at Boardsai and a co-founder. I have been fortunate enough to co-author two books, which were Mission Matters and Luminary Leadership. And authored two books, The Corporate Matchmaker and Seven Quotes, Positive Thoughts Create Positive Results. I am also a, when it comes to being an author, a USA Today bestseller. And with me today, like I said, we have Felicia. Felicia Pezonia is a partner at Ultimate Publishing House, where she helps authors publish their books and utilize the book as a key to further establish their personal brand and create multiple streams of income stemming from the book. She has been featured, as you can see, on Oprah. She was on The Ellen Show. And these four books here are just a tiny bit of what Felicia has accomplished, which we can get into more later. Second guest speaker is Graham McKenzie, who's an author of Healthy Logic and upcoming new book, Gut Logic. Graham graduated uh, within, within chemistry from St. Francis Xavier University. He is, I believe right now, joining us all the way from Nova Scotia. Am I correct, Graham? That's correct, yeah, that's right. Awesome. I will upload uh, these slides uh, so you can read the full details on the background. But I am excited and we do have a limited time. So we'd love to get right into it. Are you guys ready? We're ready. Definitely. Thank you, Martin. Awesome. Um, so I have a couple questions. Obviously, I did, uh, I did a webinar not too long ago, a general webinar about establishing a authority, um, doing a, um, a run on run, writing articles. And I touched a little bit on co-authoring a book. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously for me, that's been the biggest key. Uh, it definitely was a journey that took a lot longer, uh, but it was well worth it. So I have some questions for you, uh, specifically for you, Felicia. Um, as a publisher and best-selling author, what inspired you to enter the world of publishing and writing? Well, great question, Martin, and, and thank you for putting this together and, uh, uh, you know, conducting this interview. It's phenomenal. The beauty of a published book, and I, I realized this at a very young age, actually age four, I was fascinated by books. Uh, my grandfather, uh, who was originally from Italy, wrote books, uh, several of them. So I followed him around. I would consider him one of my first mentors. And I just realized that, you know, books are just fascinating because you're able to um, as a reader, learn incredible information and gems that could ultimately change your life. And then as a published author, the other side of the coin, you're able to put all your beautiful wisdom and information and inspiration in there and touch the lives of many people. So you're able to serve a vast, vast number of people and offer a fair exchange. Uh, so, you know, the reader invests $30 and they're able to get priceless information. So that's one of the few reasons uh, why I entered the world of publishing, because I'm also able to serve executives or uh, professionals uh, to tell their story and, uh, you know, elevate their brands, their personal brand at various levels. That's awesome. And I, I can definitely attest to that from not just the very ending that you said, but also from being able to help people and, you know, uh, inspire people. Even from some of the articles I've written, I've had people reach out to me on LinkedIn and thank me for writing them as a reminder. You know, we're all leaders and we're all get caught up in stuff. So it's, it's definitely a good thing and why I continue reading. So 
Can you share some insights into the process of becoming a best-selling author and the key strategies that contribute to your success? Certainly, Martin. Um, you know, one of the things is uh, one of my favorite words is the word congruency. So as a book publisher, we've helped a few thousand authors publish their book, being in the business almost two decades now. I started at a very young age. And um, the beauty of it is that, um, you know, putting myself through the process, my partners allowed me to do so. I have seven bestsellers. Uh, now, I won't talk too much about myself. I'd rather talk about other authors that we've helped become, uh, you know, bestseller. But yes. the beauty of it is we're able to... Uh, do, we have some proprietary strategies on bulk sales where we have various uh, pro uh, products and services that would like to piggyback market through that uh, personal brand that the author has, you know, such as yourself with Corporate Matchmaker or Graham with Healthy Logic. Um, so the beauty of having that prestigious title, best selling author, as, or, you know, USA Today best selling author. New York Times bestselling author, as well as Amazon. It's just a beautiful thing because psychologically, it uh, is a very prestigious title and it enhances and further enhances your brand rather, and it establishes further credibility and distinction. So it's just a, a priceless and uh, beautiful badge to have. I call it the golden badge uh, because it, it attracts opportunities, some that even us as publishers are not able to predict. There's a lot of unfor foreseen opportunities uh, as a best-selling author that you're able to attract. And actually, I will mention one of my dreams was to make it to the Ellen Show, and I did have that as one of my goals, and I'm big on visualization. Of course, I took massive action because you have to uh, implement both. And uh, so in 2008, Ellen purchased uh, 40,000 copies of Babes and Business Suits, my first book, which is featuring the top female entrepreneurs of the world. Back then, actually, Ivana Trump was very kind enough to write my foreword, uh, you know, the late Ivana Trump. And uh, that was an incredible, uh, a incredible achievement for me. And, and I have to thank Ellen uh, for that. She helped put that, uh, uh, you know, over the top. That's awesome. Um, and what advice do you have for aspiring authors who are looking to publish their first book and achieve success in the industry. And as a side note, for me, and I don't know, you can maybe touch on this too. For me, I mean, I've been wanting to write a book for a long time, but I think what really motivated me to write my book was co-authoring a book first and kind of getting self-inspired, like, oh my gosh, I can actually get this done. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll leave that answer up to you. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll try to uh, condense it, a nutshell it, uh, Martin. <laughs> The beauty of it is if you're not able to, like, it gets overwhelming. So you think, where am I going to start? Yeah. Or if you're, you know, super smart, like Graham, you end up writing a hundred thousand pages, you know, so <laughs> you need someone, um, let's say like myself or our team here. Um, we have offices in New York, Toronto and, and Columbus, Ohio. You know, I always say it's three of the coldest cities on the, on the planet <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> We'll make it to Nevada soon, open up an office there. But uh, I would say that, as you noticed, Martin, we would meet every week and the ghostwriter, if you choose to use one, and uh, your personal project manager, I take on about 25 authors a year myself. We guide you through the whole process and interview you to extract two chapters a week. And the book is literally done in six weeks and all you need to do is commit to an hour and a half to two hours a week which means just you know uh tighten your schedule and and get rid of certain distractions such as social media if you will um but that would that's what i would recommend is to understand that we have a whole team here of 58 people eight of them would be behind your book project helping you the whole way and and again really it's only an hour and a half to two hours of your time uh, every week for six weeks. And then here and there, we'll touch base with you for you to approve every step of the way, including the cover design and title and uh, what have you. So everything's created by us humans. Uh, we're super creative. Nothing is, uh, you know, implemented by other things as, you know, as such as AI. That's what I'm getting at. So uh, <laughs> including, you know, uh, a beautiful, you um, forward and testimonials from various celebrities and various professionals. So it's the whole entire package that we offer 
And we typically release the book in less than six months. Uh, sometimes if everything goes to schedule, it could be five months. So uh, I hope that helps and answers your question, Martin. Yes, thank you. Um, can you share any memorable, memorable success stories of authors you have worked with and how their books have made an impact in their respective fields? Certainly, there's so many to choose from, but today I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go with Dr. Lena Edwards. She was based out of Kentucky and her title of her book is Adrenal Logic. So she specializes in adrenal fatigue. So she was living in Kentucky. Thanks to the book, we got her on stage at a very prestigious conference based on anti-aging and integrative medicine. She was speaking alongside other renowned doctors and uh, coined the adrenal logic and understanding. And well, her speech was all about adrenal fatigue doesn't exist. It's a cortisol connection. That being said, she was able to sell uh, you know, a significant amount of books. And uh, from there, she was offered a um, position to be chief medical officer at another clinic. And she she got her dream, which was you know to move to Florida. She now resides in Boca Raton, Florida, and she's able to teach other doctors and train them rather than seeing patients. And that was her ultimate dream to free up some more time and spend time with her son uh, and her new husband. So that's uh, that's just one of the many success uh, stories that we have with our family of authors here. Absolutely, and I can definitely confirm that because. It's not just about book sales, uh, writing a good book, setting that authority definitely lays out, you know, if, if you want to continue with your career for me, you know, I ultimately wanted to be a speaker, which has led me to speaking at Princeton, Hope Global Forum, uh, upcoming FinTech, uh, Islands Conference. So uh, I, I don't think without the book, the opportunities would be there, which um, is definitely a good way to give back, which makes me feel great. So um, what role do you believe executive branding plays in the success of authors and how can authors effectively be, build their personal brand in the competitive publishing industry? Well, that's, well, that's a interesting. That's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> what role do you believe executive branding plays in the success of authors and how can authors effectively build their personal brand. Obviously, we're talking about co-authoring a book. So I guess mm -hmm. more importantly is what what role do you believe executive branding plays in the success of authors? Well, I think it plays a major role, Martina, and that's a, a great question because um, there's only, you know, you can give someone your business card or you can give them your book. It's a very prestigious uh, title and even as a contributing author where you have a featured chapter like yourself in those uh, two books and I've done a couple myself um, you're able to take that chapter and uh, market and use it as you know tell your story and use it as publicity and branding um, to attract uh, clients and like I said opportunities that you we may not even have uh, calculated you're able to establish multiple streams of income stemming from that chapter from the book, such as a companion journal, which you have for Corporate Matchmaker. And I have a companion journal for Mind Candy. Uh, so you're able to do your Mind Candy notes and gratitude and goals. And um, also what's important is you're able to uh, have that title as a you know published author, you're able to have distinction and stand out from the crowd as an executive. It's very important uh, to stand out from the crowd, not follow the crowd, but create your own path. 100%. And last question for you. What about multiple streams of income stemming from the book? You already touched a little bit on it, but I'll let you finish. Sure. Well, I love, you know, I was taught by, I, I was very fortunate to have many mentors, you know, my mother, grandfather, Bob Proctor, Tony Robbins, Dr. John D. Martini, I know he's tuning in. And uh, I got to say that uh, Bob Proctor was the one, uh, you know, the late Bob Proctor, he was a master in personal development and subconscious mind programming. He always said that the only way to get wealthy and live an abundant life and a fulfilled life is to have multiple streams of income, MSIs. And the greatest catalyst to creating multiple streams of income 
would be to publish a book. You're able, what we would do for you, our whole team here is have a mastermind and figure out, okay, uh, what is your primary objective? What do you want the book to do for you? And what are the best multiple streams of income stemming from your book? Some of them, Martin, would include a companion journal, a home study course, uh, some sort of a learning, like a, perhaps a school, some sort of center, even a documentary based uh, you know, on your story uh, that we could feature possibly on Netflix. And uh, well, we would pitch them and if it's accepted and uh, what else? Merchandise, you could have uh, definitely merchandise stemming from the book. I mean, you can build a, a empire that's, um, you know, even a nutraceutical line, a beautiful empire that's based on residual or passive income. And that is the key here. We're here to help you build uh, not just publish your book, but build an empire stemming from the book. Awesome. Thank you, Felicia. Thank you, Martin. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Okay, Graham, you ready for this? Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us a bit about your background and journey as an author and what inspired you to start writing? So when I was very young, I always thought it'd be kind of neat. And I'm talking about this age that Felicia was talking about, you know, a four-year-old, a five-year-old. <laughs> and we always had books in the house. And uh I, I always thought it would be kind of neat to write a book and you, you know, you would start to write one on your own as that young an age and, uh, you know, you know how far that would get, but I kind of put it aside for really for, um, for a while. It wasn't until after I graduated from pharmacy at Dalhousie in Halifax and you get more comfortable with a topic when you're working with it. So I was working for close to 20 years as a pharmacist contributing to different um online publishments i had uh different uh you know newspaper articles and uh contributions to all kinds of different things that would just kind of share medical knowledge and then after all that writing i just started to think you know by the time maybe 2008 came around you know maybe i should kind of compile all this and actually put it into a book and so that's what i did and uh it really uh, at the time, I, I couldn't come out fast enough. It was just in my head so much um, and reflecting some of the things that I had blogged about on, on our own website. And I got it all down on paper. It took roughly 10 years to do, though, because uh, I took a bit of a break and there was a bit of a change in direction in the book. And uh, I think really the the trigger for it was just the realization that I had this knowledge. One of the reasons I went into pharmacy was to share knowledge with people, you know, trusted knowledge. And I thought the time had come to kind of pull the trigger and just put it all down in a book. That's awesome. And your book has received rave reviews and resonated with many readers. What motivated you to share that particular story and what impact did you hope to make with your book? So like Felicia said, it's it's kind of like, you know, a calling card. And where in the world would you be able to be able to have a, uh, you know, a lecture on demand? So whenever somebody opens your book anywhere in the world, you're basically giving them a lecture. So and, and I'm talking about a nonfiction book, of course, and you're always giving information at that point. You You don't have to have the phone call and then you know talk to the patient for 10 or 15 minutes that's the beauty of a book you just always have the impact of somebody reading the information that you know is true and that you share with your customers every day and that you know people have questions about so so the impact i wanted to have is that people could just in in the comfort of their own home be able to get that information. And uh, it, it really took a while to kind of, you can ask Felicia, there was a lot more written in this book and we really had to pare it down quite a bit because I was just writing and writing and writing and writing. And then, you know, she said, you know, okay, if we make this 500 pages, nobody's going to buy it. So we have to kind of trim it down a little bit. And uh, she was right. She really was uh, a lot of help when it came to this um, and uh, brought it into a manageable format. So hopefully the original impact that I wanted to have has continued today, even a year and a half, even more than a year and a half after it's been released um, to help educate the public. Awesome. Um, 
how has becoming a published author impacted your personal and professional life or what doors has it opened for you? Well, as a pharmacist, you're always asked to speak somewhere and that certainly hasn't led up uh, since the book came out. So the book came out around the time that, you know, COVID was beginning to, at least in my part of the world, kind of wind down and restrictions were starting to get let up. So it certainly led to more requests for for talking. Uh, I've had uh, websites like Mental Space ask for blogs on insomnia, which is a part of the book as well. I have a colleague that uh, has contributed to the next book, Gut Logic, Lindsay Dixon. Uh, she did a hour long interview with me on her YouTube um, show and help. It always gives you more and more exposure. It doesn't matter, you know, what what person brings you in. If it's if it's a talk, uh, you know, I don't know if you know Bedeck, but Bedeck has about 800 people and the surrounding area has a whopping 5,000 people, you know, so that's, it's tough to get, you know, a large number of people. So every year I go down to uh, Indian Brook and there's a, a large group in the middle of nowhere of 60 people that come together every single week. And they ask me to go there every, every year. And I, and I do a talk. So within Cape Breton, it really has, has elevated whatever profile I would have as a pharmacist. There are people that call me now because they have heard of the book. And uh, I've had uh, TV interviews from from uh, reporters that may not have even heard my name before. In fact, every month and a half now, I'm on CBC Radio Maritime Noon, which is uh, a radio program that I, I loved since, since uh, I graduated from university. It's just they would get people on for um, uh, random call-ins and it can be at first you know it's a little um, it feels a little tense because you're just getting live questions on the air but it's really just stuff you do all the time yeah. and uh, and you know you hope it's it's something that you're going to be able to convey in a meaningful way that people understand um, so uh, you know professional life there's there's really there's no way i can come up with that would elevate that more than writing a book that's awesome and the last question you pretty much already touched on um how working with uh, uph and felicia has influenced your journey as an author you kind of touched on it anything else you want to add to that oh sure i mean at first and you probably went through this martin yourself when writing a book you kind of know okay this is what i want to put down on paper and maybe the next step might be a little foggy of how to put it in a way that flows well, right? But then then what do you do? Like, how do you come up with, with what you have in front of you on your computer to something that you could walk into a bookstore or go online? Like, that part is like jumping to Mars for most yeah. of us. And maybe it was for you also. Uh, I'm glad and, I wasn't the only one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's... And so I think most people listening would have, if they're if they've ever been through the experience you know having a literary agent and then trying to get somebody else to develop a a, um, a chapter flow of the book and then a book cover and have all of that come together and then submit that to the publisher so i have to be honest i just eventually uh went to linkedin and felicia this is how i found you uh i just kind of scrolled through a few and then your name came up and i kind of did some research on ultimate publishing house and i was like hmm I said, it seems like really everything's there. I don't even have to get in my chair, basically, to have this happen. And uh, so, you know, she makes you feel like your book is the only book in the world that they're working on. And they really give you a lot of attention. And without all of that package deal, I would have still been writing this book. I would yeah. still be looking for how to do all of this that came out. And uh, I, you know, we have plans for more. And um, I it's the the easiest and the best way as far as I'm concerned as far as getting a book to come out ultimate publishing house really kind of saved me from just continually writing that's awesome I feel the same way <laughs> yeah so speaking of ultimate publishing house um uh, let's get you published uh I'm gonna let uh Felicia talk a little bit about this um we got just a few minutes left so we'll kind of go through it real quick, but go ahead, Felicia. I'll go through the screens. 
Sure, certainly, Martin. Thank you. And thank you for the kind words, uh, Graham, as well as Martin. So the uh, power of personal branding um, through a published book, it, you're able to enhance your credibility, your visibility, and position yourself as an expert in your field. And then next slide would be to, uh, you know, why not write a book? We're here to help you. As I said, you commit to the process uh, an hour and a half um, to two hours a week. In this case, as a contributing author, author pardon me, you would only uh, have a three weeks commitment uh, to, to complete your chapter. And um, again, it's the golden key. So I like to, you know, we're visual uh, creatures by nature. So uh, the images, picture this image of this beautiful golden key that's able to open up doors uh, to and attract opportunities, clients and patients. And of course, uh, you're able to create multiple streams of income stemming from your chapter as a contributing author. We know that success breeds success. And we also know that you're in harmony with the law of integrity, serve a vast number of people and offer a fair exchange through your, you know, an investment of 30 to $35 for your book. And uh, the other thing is in terms of filling your revenue funnel, you have a low ticket item, which happens to be a book, which is about, like I said, 30 to $35. That's the low ticket item that fills your revenue funnel um, to other things that are high ticket items, even having your own home study course, um, merchandise, and maybe even have one-on-one -on -one coaching. Absolutely. And now, um, you know, you can become a bestseller. And, and this is like, we don't publish anyone and everyone. Uh, it is, let's call it invite only or acceptance only, if you will. And what we mean by that is we're selective. You must have a great story to tell, like Martin and, and Graham. Uh, you're able to, you're coachable. Uh, you're an up and comer or you're established. Uh, and, and like I said, you're coachable. You have a positive mental attitude and you're willing to work and you're able to commit to the process uh, or process, uh, you know, an hour and a half to two hours a week. And then once you join us, we're, we conduct a mastermind and we figure out in an hour and a half, what do you want to do? You know, what do you want the book to do for you? Pardon me. And uh, what are the streams of income stemming from the book? And so today we have a very special offer with Martin Ravinsky, the CEO of Board's Eye and, you know, author of Corporate Matchmaker and the other books. And what we're creating is uh, we're publishing a book titled C-Suite Journey, and that's csuitejourney.com. And so we're inviting 20 contributing authors, maximum 20 authors. You're able to have a chapter, so it's, you know, 20 chapters. And what you're receiving is the opportunity to have a 2,000 word ghost written chapter, your bio, you're also able to have your picture on the cover beside uh, our, uh, you know, handsome Martin and uh, and uh, well-known USA Today uh, published author. As you know, success breeds success, so it's important to establish yourself and uh, like attracts like. So you want to be in good company, and and you are, and you're able to have your photo on the cover, and of course, all marketing and publicity and branding that we uh, include. And uh, we have an Amazon bestseller campaign, as well as uh, over 2,000 online channels like Amazon, Bards and Nobles, Chapters, Indigo, and so forth, where the book will be sold. And you own that chapter. That's your story. And from there, um, you know, the distribution would uh, start the, or the release, the book would release would be the first quarter of uh, 2024. Would you like to add anything to that, Martin? I know I'm, I'm super excited. Um, like I said, my, my journey started with co-authoring a book. I am, you know, hopeful that we get 20 great people that have the same dream uh, and begin their journey of, of becoming an author through co-authoring their first book and then uh, leading into writing their own book after that. But uh, I, you know, you guys hit everything that I would ever dream of talking about. I mean, the positives, that you know, me and you, Felicia, talked about the outcomes uh, definitely happened for me. Uh, and as you know, I, I'm you know, I, I love writing articles. I love giving back. Uh, I've had a lot of fails in life and never gave up. Uh, I just learned from the fails and 
decided to get better and stronger. And so, you know, move on and move forward and um, just kind of writing about those things and what helped me through and helping others has been great. Putting that into a book of, you know, what we do in our industry at Boards Eye uh, has been great, has been great for Boards Eye. Uh, it definitely set us apart from other companies out there. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, we are the authority when it comes to recruiting for board positions. And that's why we, uh, as you came up with and helped me come up with, uh, the book is called The Corporate Matchmaker. So I highly encourage anybody that's ever thought about how do I get into it? How do I write a book? Uh, reach out to me on LinkedIn, reach out, reach out to Felicia on LinkedIn. Let's set up an interview and uh, figure out mm -hmm. if uh, you have that story that would put you in the book and then uh, we can get started. So I'm super excited and this will be a great journey. So. Thank you everybody for your time. Thanks for watching and oh, 1031, perfect timing. Excellent, thank you, uh, Martin. Really appreciate it and uh, you as well, Graham. Great interview and like uh, Martin mentioned, anyone interested in partaking in the C-suite journey, connect with us on LinkedIn and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks Martin, Graham, thanks again. Felicia. Thanks for coming out. Not thanks sure for having me. Is there, but thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Take Good care, guys. You. Bye-bye. Thank you. See you guys later.